Hi, um, been a while since I've done one of these videos. In fact, it's probably going to be almost uh, over 12 months that I've done one of these videos. And this one is all about my hip. Uh, I started to get some comments actually on the, the videos about the uh, the oper operation on, on my hip, the recovery, etc. Uh, and they've been really good comments. And uh, hopefully the videos uh, have helped. And I've noticed I've had quite a lot of views on them. Uh, so I'm assuming they, they are helping people. So, where am I with my hip? I had my hip done on the 13th of March uh, last year. So I'm over 12 months uh, in terms of recovery. I have one thing to say. Well, a couple of words really. Absolutely fantastic. And I've said that on some of the other videos. So much so that um, this week, in fact, so we're in May, I did uh, my second 10k race since having my hip done. And uh, the first one I did uh, was in February. Um, quite a hilly course in Blackburn where I live. Um, and that was quite an interesting one because the last time I did that 10k was about, I think it was about at least two years ago. And it was the last 10k or the last race I did before I had my hip done. Because I did that 10k and I started to have problems with my ankles and I think it was all related to the hip starting to degrade. Uh, and I did about 57 minutes uh, for that 10k and it was a hilly course. Jump forward to after my hip in uh, February this year, so February uh, 2018, I had exa exactly the same race and so that was not quite 12 months after having the hip done. I actually did 1 hour and 50 something seconds, so about 3 minutes different. So I actually was very emotional coming over the, the finishing line because from going to not being able to walk well and really in severe pain, to being able to do that 10k with only a few minutes difference to uh, what I did uh, a few years ago. So last week did a 10k again. I seem to have a, a thing for doing crazy hilly 10k's. I did one up in uh, Cumbria uh, near my where my eldest son lives. It's a lovely Roman archaeological site called Vindolanda, and they do an annual 10k, and that is a really really hilly course. Uh, and I did that uh, on Wednesday night in 58 minutes, 51 seconds, so an improvement from the previous one. Uh, and I was absolutely flying when I look at some of the times on my watch. I know some of them were downhill, but I was doing 7 minutes, 47 a mile, under 9 minute miles. The, up, the uphills were 10, 11 uh, minutes a mile, but the downhills were really good. And I have had no issues with the hip whatsoever. What can I give in terms of tips? Um, well, one thing that I did actually learn when I went for my 12 months appointment with the, the consultant was that I did say that I get a little bit of, still a little bit of tightness in my hip flexor. Um, and he explained why that is. And the best way to explain it is that if, if that's your pelvis and your hip socket, and that's your leg going into that, then what happens is as the hip joint wears, in effect, your leg is moving up in your body. So in effect, your leg is becoming shorter. And what has the effect of doing is all the hip flexor muscles down the front of your leg around the hip joint, in effect, shrink. So what happens then after you've had your hip done is basically what they're doing is putting a new socket and ball in and in effect bringing your leg back down. So that has the, the reverse effect of allowing to shrink. It's actually putting your hip flexors and muscles around that area on stretch and tension. So that's why I've had uh, a little bit of tightness in my hip but it's starting to decrease now. Uh, and what I would recommend is uh, some uh, really good uh, hip uh, flexing uh, exercises. Uh, a guy who's really helped me with the rehab um, is a physiotherapist and rehab uh, consultant. He does an absolutely fantastic website called Kinetic Revolution. And if you look on there, he will do some uh, good hip mobility exercises. And I've used those quite a lot in terms of my rehab. The other thing that I noticed, and I did allude to it, I think, on one of the other videos, is 
I grossly underestimated how long it takes for your muscles to um, get stronger again and in effect bulk. So when I was trying to run short runs my, my muscles really weren't up to it and I really had to be uh, slow at building it back up and it's sometimes you're thinking you know why can't I run like I, I you know I used to be able to and it's because you've lost so much tone in your muscles because you're um, less mobile with your hip that it does take the time so now I'm starting to get the reward of my muscles are now strong enough which means I can do the 10k's which means I can do them faster again um, so yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm also in the London Marathon. Uh, I meant to do it this year, but I hurt my Achilles. One thing I learned is that if I use flip-flops when I'm on holiday, it puts too much load on my Achilles. So I've had to use uh, flip-flops. It's got more of a heel to take the, the tension off my Achilles uh, and just basically work on my, my fitness. So I, ha I had to defer the London Marathon until 2019, but I'm, I'm now gone from a little bit fearful of doing that based on the 10k i did this week i'm actually looking really really positive to doing that so i'll do some more videos as and when and i'll try and do some videos with some of the exercises on um if you do need any um feedback as to uh, or questions you have about the way i've done my hip again i said to people with anything like this you manage it you are the customer you have patience choice now with the, the nhs I believe the waiting list or the time they have to do the hip now has extended. I think when I had it done it was between 12 and 18 weeks they had to do it. I think it's probably 18 to something weeks now. But you manage it. You pick the consultants and you know if the anterior approach like I had done uh, is for you, push for that one. I've also learned how I've had a, a ceramic hip as well. And they did actually say uh, when I went for my, uh, my 12 month assessment we knew you were going to hit your heart, your hip hard right from day one so that's why we put a ceramic one in um and and they do actually say that it is a, in excess of 20 25 years now the studies are showing that this thing will never wear out the the more nylon type ones do wear uh, and the ceramic ones is more expensive for the nhs but in terms of uh, wear and strength uh, and life that's what I managed to get and I'm really, really thankful for it. So again, uh, real thankful for Oldham Hospital who did it uh, and, and uh, the uh, surgeon, Dr. Bonshai, really brilliant, um, got me back and you know I'm living my life again. I'm loving uh, running and the exercise. So yeah, please, uh, please ask all the questions you want. Um, if you want me to show the exercises I've been doing, I'll quite happily do that as well. Not a problem. And hopefully this useful this video is useful. If you find it good, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I also have some Tesla videos as well. You might want to find interesting as well. So again, thank you very much.